Hello everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shuck and I'm back to do the follow on video to our sharpening session and I've gone a wee bit ahead, I've got everything laid out that I need which is what I would do anyway and what I suggest you do and get all your rods all lined up and make sure they're sitting nice and even for when you come to use them. Over here I have my little I have a wee cl plastic jug with water in it and a wee drop of fairy liquid which is what I use to clean my stones regularly throughout this process just because then you know you're getting the proper grip that you're actually using rather than letting them clog up. I do it sort of every go, every time I've done say three goes up and down, I'll wash them and then start again. So what I'm going to do, I have brought our little orange ganzo out of retirement. This knife has done so many things. If you go back in my channel, I've sharpened it on stones, rocks, um, on a file, anything at all, I've sharpened this. And I've put it into retirement. <laughs> it is... Still a beautiful wee knife. I can't cut it off tape all in there, but it's razor sharp. So, what I'm going to do is blunt it. <laughs> and what I have is a diamond file. And I'm now going to... I hate doing this. I hate the sound of it. But, what I want to do is show you that we're starting off blunt. And at the end of this, I want... I'm using telephone paper here. Because at the end of it, I want this to be cutting... Telephone paper absolutely smoothly. Right? Now, there's nothing on each end there. I didn't put that on. That is definitely not cutting anymore. So, what we've got to do now. The next step that I do is I put the black marker and I use these Sharpies. But it's any permanent marker. It doesn't have to be a Sharpie. I mean, you don't have to go out and buy all these things because somebody else uses them. Just a permanent marker is what you want, really. And you get it off with nail varnish. If you get if you, if you make a slippage and it goes up the blade, don't worry. A wee drop of nail varnish will soon remove it. So there you go. I have the black sharpie along the bottom, and I put that there so that I can get the right angle before I clamp this down fully in the system. You have to get the right angle. Now I was given a tip, and I'm going to use it now. After the last video, some of the more um mature members shall we say who have done an awful lot more than I have and they this is what I enjoy about this community we give each other help and they were really helpful so if you imagine a line between the tip of your blade here and the base of your blade and that line runs up depending on how curved the, the blade is was depending on how that line will run when you're putting this fixed angle sharpener on you really want to imagine a line between here and here there's not very much in this one, but a line between here and here and then level up on that line. And what that does, that means that you're the beginning and the ending of your sharpening. The stones are going to be cutting at the, the correct angle. Because sometimes if you do it the other way, apparently what you can do is get a, a, a shorter bevel at the front and a bigger one at the back or vice versa, depending on which way you've got it done. So I'm going to try that this time. It doesn't take much adjustment on this one, but I'll show you it once I've got it in. So I've got it all set up here and what I'm going to do is I lift it off to do this. Okay and what I do is I am imagining that line between the back and the front and then I'm going to put that in the centre of it. Well hopefully it was going to be in the centre of it. Stay there you bugger. Right I'm going to put that there in the centre and then I'm going to tighten this. Now I'm not tightening the back. I'm only tightening this because I need to find out. I want to redo this edge where it is. I don't want to put a whole new um, bevel on this if I can help it. The, the least amount of metal you take off every time, the better it is. Which is why it's so good to strop in between. I'm going to do it at 20 degrees because I do all my knives at 20 degrees. Now, there's some of the... the like the M390s have got. When I do them, I'm going to try taking them down to maybe 17 because that blade can take it. This is 440C. So what I do is I put this on and in the centre of my blade, right, all I'm going to do is rub it back and forward. A couple of times. And I hope you can see that there. Can you see that here? I hope you can. Yeah, you can see it there. That is where my... The, the grind is happening so it's right down on the on the edge and there's a wee bit at the top that's fine 
that'll not take too much metal off so that was lucky that's for sometimes you have to move that about a wee bit but that will do for me so what I do now then is I want to tighten this top bit down as much as I can and give this a wee tighten again so this is a full flat grind so can you remember the full flat grind we want that wedge shape because I want this to touch can you see that there there's no gaps there and no gaps there this is touching on the blade okay so I tighten that as hard as I can and tighten that now that's us ready to sharpen so I have this all ready to sharpen I'll just check that it's flat and always check that this is flat even if you've set them sometimes you can knock them and they'll go off but always check because if you don't you just have to take more metal off so now we'll get started we'll keep that there I don't need that so I'm quite happy with that and we'll take this out of the way I just want to get things out of my way before we do it so for this session what I'm going to do is just get this first part of the edge done because this is the most important this is with the diamond the medium diamond blade or in the the cheaper landscape system they have got their um the 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 coarsest grain one you will start on, I think it's 70 grain, you can start in it. This takes away, this works faster, so that's why I said if you try, get the, the medium diamond. But we'll do that and then we'll go through the rest and at the next session. But this session, if you don't get this right now in this one, it will never be right the whole way through that. And you'll get to the end and you can have an absolutely mirror image, or mirror image, a mirror finish. But the blade will not be sharp or there'll be different parts of it are sharp and some aren't and some are. So getting this bit right and getting the burr, that's what it's called. Uh, and I know a lot of you have, have been around here for this. So, but the burr is the important thing. And what a burr is, is when you're sharpening a, a V, when you're sharpening the blade, you're pushing the metal over the top of the other side. So when I'm doing this here, I'm pushing the metal underneath there. I'm sharpening up and it's going round. And then I'll turn it over and I do it again and right. So you're chasing the burr all the way through these stones. But this one is the most important because that burr has to start here and finish right at the tip on both sides and then follow it over. I follow it over once, maybe twice, just to make sure I've got a complete burr. And at that stage, that knife should be sharp. Now, it mightn't be telephone paper sharp, but it should be sharp. Because if it's not sharp then, it'll not be sharp at the end. So... I've nagged on. Any questions can come below. So again, it's just the usual thing. I love the wee stand. It's set here. So, and then I just start sharpening. And my sharpening, everybody has different ways. Some people will just do it like that. And if you can see, that is lovely. It's right down on the edge. Ooh, can you see that? I hope you can. It's so hard to see on this. It's right down on the edge. So I've actually got the right angle, which is good. So what I'll do, I do it like this. As long a stroke as I can, all the way up, and I just take my time, and with the, right up to the point, what you don't want to do is go over the end of that point, because then you'll just run the end of that, the point of your knife off. So just be careful there, and then I come back again. Now, I've gone up and down my knife, I hope this will be viewable to you. Let me just see. Yeah, I think you can see that there. I'm right down on the apex, so I'm happy to go ahead and continue to do that. I hit, I've hit the bottom of the apex the whole way along. The other thing you can do, and it's the other thing that I use, is a little magnifying glass to check that you've got. Because sometimes you can look at this, and you think you're down at the at the, at the bevel's edge, but you're not. So if you get the little um, magnifying glass, I'll not just do it now. But you can have a real check just to make sure you're cutting right down to the edge because that's where all the sharpness comes from. This is the most important step. So 440, like most of our, our cheaper blades, is easy to sharpen and that's what's good about it. It's a nice, easy blade to sharpen. And I've done this by hand all the time. I've never actually used a machine on that. I have this system on this. I've always done this by hand or on the uh, sharpie maker. The sharpie maker. <laughs> so what I'm going to do I'm going to pause you and I'm going to do this until I get the burr and then I'll show you what I do after that I'll be back in a minute 
Now, back with you again. That didn't take very long. Because it's only 4.40, it doesn't take very long. It probably took me about three or four minutes. Now, what I want to show you is, there's the, the line of the knife now where I have sharpened it. Okay. It's sharpened all the way up from top to bottom, and it's very even. So that tip I was given, I am so pleased with, because that is incredibly even all the way up there. Now, what I want you to hear is this. Can you hear anything? No, because that's not the side the burrs are on. That was the top side. Now listen to this. Oh gosh, I bet you that's not coming out. <laughs> can you hear that? I don't know whether you can hear it. That's probably, that's very hard. But there's a little burr has come right over the top and it's now on the other side. So all I've got to do now is turn my blade over. And I just do exactly the same thing again on this side. So I start, I still got my Sharpie marker there just so as I make sure that there was nothing uneven. I'm just going to go once up the line to see where it is. There you go, it's perfectly up that line. It's removed the Sharpie right down to the, to the edge. Can you see that? Oh, it's nearly taken the whole Sharpie off. This is probably terrible viewing, but I hopefully you'll follow along. So, I just now need to take this bevel off this side. And what I want to do, I want to make sure, and I do this by eye, I'm not sure if there's another way that people do it. What I do now, I will stay on this side with this diamond stone until I feel that both my sides are equidistant. They're both the same bevel as in the, they're sitting both at the same distance from the edge up because I don't want the knife to look out of shape. So I'll stay on this for a while and then I just check by eye that both my bevels are looking exactly the same and then I'll tell you what happens then. So sorry, I'll go back to here. So I'll pause again and we'll come back. Okay folks, we're back again. I'm nearly there now. I'm just going to go one more wee time just down here. I have got the burr now back on the other side. And I have a confession to make. And this is something you'll probably do yourself if you just don't take care. I wasn't taking enough care up to the edge here. And I filed too long in the one place. And now I've got a bit a bit of a, a bigger... I'll show you it in a minute. It's just... It's, it's not terrible. It's not going to affect the knife now because the rest of the knife is... You know, I've got the burr on the right side all the way down. But it'll maybe not just look as aesthetically pleasing to me. So, the burr now has gone... I, I know you can't hear that. I just wish you could... Can you hear that? That's my nail. Catching the burr on the other side. So, I'll have a little look. Is that... That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, actually I'm going to give it another wee bit to be honest with you. So, I'll, I'll bring you back when I've done that. So now, sorry, this is the bit where I say not to rush. And I was trying to rush myself, so I slowed down. Took another couple of minutes. I've now got my bevels equal for my eye. And that's all I want is my eye. If my eye likes it, it should be pretty near it. So now I'm going to take it over and what you're going to do now is gradually bring that burr down. So what I always do is give this a nice clean now because this is when you start. This is not removal as such now. All we want to do is take the, the edge off the burr. So gently now, no pressure. And you can hear that, can't you? Because that's where the bit of metal is hanging over the side. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take that down as gently as I can and that's what you're actually doing you're actually taking the top of it off a little burr forms right on the edge of the blade so I have no pressure on that whatsoever so it's just back and forward right up to your end and you can start to hear when you're getting down to the proper metal and not just the burr so let's just find that
and there's a little bit of burr on the other side. So again, just swap it over. And in between hands, I've been washing this, by the way. I've just done it. So, so here now, I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And what I'm going to do is just on the other side. So what I'm feeling for now is if I have any burr down here and there's a little bit, not much. So that's it done. To me, that's the most important part of the knife. To feel it, it's starting to feel sharp already and it should do. And what I'm going to do now is, what I normally do is put a bit of paper over the top and slide it down. I'll know whether it's sharp, but I want to do this in front of you. So we'll be, oh, there we go. So, I'm going to give this a wee wipe off, and there was this bit of paper, telephone paper, so, can you feel that already? Now, this is on the diamond, the roughest one that I've got. This is on the roughest. Well, it's actually a coarse diamond, that's what it is, and can you see how sharp that is? So this is just the start of our process. Look at that on telephone paper. You've seen what it was like at the beginning. So that's great. It's sharpening its cup. If it isn't doing that, if it's snagging on telephone paper at the course, and I mean the course, if it isn't cutting telephone paper, you haven't done it right. Go back and do it again until you get it right because you don't want to move to the next stone until you're cutting like that. It has to cut like that. I tried rushing. To get this video done, I had to stop myself, go back and redo it. So, I don't know what you're going to see of the blade, um, the blade edge. Well, you've seen it cutting and that's the most important thing. But there's both sides now. They look nice and even. And so, I'll just show you if I can get the light. It's really hard to see what you're doing when you're as clumsy as I am. So, that's the course done. It's cutting telephone paper. And that's our first stone, the roughest stone. Now, if you're like me, I found that just amazing. I thought, how can I do that on the roughest one? And that is the joy of a fixed sharpening system. At each stage, at each stone, if you check it, what I do normally is when I have the knife up here, I'll get a little bit of paper and I'll put the telephone paper like that and pull it along it. And if it's cutting, then I know I'm all right. So, but I'll show you that. The next time now, we'll do it in real time, and that's using the last four strops, which is a, a 280, a 600, a 1000, and a leather strop. And I'm going to do them the next time, and them four will take as much time as just that one stone. But that is the important stone. The first stone is always the important one. And I'm really over-expressing that because it has to be, if you get that right, you You've really cracked sharpening because that's the burr. Once you get that burr moving back and forwards, that's how you get the sharpened blades. So, from Wee Paddy, I hope this was interesting. I hope I didn't bore you too much. And I hope I didn't, I hope the video was all right. Just let me know if it's all right. And if you don't follow something, if I haven't done it right, I'll do it again for you. But I'm leaving this nice the way it is. I'm not touching it until the next time I do it. And it'll be the last one. And we'll do all four stones. Finish the knife off and you'll see how sharp it is. Take care. I need a cup of tea. Goodbye. Bye now.